This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Hello piggies, how y'all doing? Oh, it's a lovely day in the neighborhood, a lovely day in the neighborhood. Oh God, I'm on drugs. That's why I'm happy. Anyway, hi guys, y'all know how we do it here, piggies. So keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot, okay? Okay, okay, okay. We are back for the reunion of season one of RuPaul's Drag Race. We watched the finale last week. And um, I think this reunion was pretty good from what I remember. I think this is when Tammy kind of <laughs> was giving RuPaul the stank eye, as she should. And this week has just been crazy. Like, I can't, like... So I posted a video of the singer Irish from 702. She passed away on the 16th. I, that day I must have been gaming or something and then I didn't know until the next morning or so um, that she passed away. And y'all know I was a big 702 fan. So make sure y'all watch that video where I kind of give an insight on her and the group. Um, and I think for this jamming with Pierre, just, you know, in honor of her and, and that group, probably do like, I don't know, maybe one or two songs or like maybe one song from each album that I think y'all should go jam to. Um, and yeah, and then a friend who I didn't know because he didn't tell me anything. <laughs> like, I feel like everybody else knew except me. You know, um, his father passed away. I want to say Saturday. Was it Saturday? Was it the same day Irish passed away? But he did, he literally like came to the live video. We were gaming and laughing, all that kind of stuff. And he and I didn't know anything. Like I, he did a good job at masking that, but he finally told me. So I want to say, you know, I already talked to him privately, but you know, Robert, it's, and I know what I told you, just, there's no words I can say. There's nothing, there's no, I'm sorry. There's nothing that can like, um, make somebody feel better about that. Except for just, I'm here, you know, praying for you, which, you know, I know it may seem like sometimes what does prayer do, you know, but it's all I can do as a human being, you know, and try to be there for you if you need me in any other kind of way. So yeah, girl, the death is death thing, okay? And what else? As always, we're gonna read tips, read comments. If I think of anything random, we can, but you know, yeah. As of right now, let's go ahead and do Jammin' with Pierre. Oh, and this shirt is another shirt. Ooh, 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 ah, ah! My monkey shirt. That funky monkey. That funky monkey. That says, sue me. This shirt makes Ronaldo mad. It makes, it seemed to make some black people mad because in their mind, they look like monkeys. And they see, they're, they're, them themselves see themselves as monkeys, which is why they will find the shirt offensive. Because to me, a monkey doesn't mean a black person. And if you think a monkey means a black person, then you're racist to yourself. Nothing to do with me. Because to me, I just see a monkey as any other animal. And I feel like, and I've made plenty of other animals sickening and fierce. So why can't I make a fierce monkey bad bit from the jungle? The queen of the jungle. Okay, Planet of the Apes wasn't racist. So anyway, because <laughs> people were scared to buy this shirt back in the day. You know, they wouldn't buy all the peaches and maybe the mouse, but they were like, oh, no, no, no. I not touch monkey shirt. They gonna call me racist. Like, no, it's just, I can't. <laughs> anyway. This is going to be hard to do as far as like, cause you know, in general, I think y'all should listen to every 702 album. Their albums genuinely, for real, they're good. And that's the thing, I think back in the day, some people chose to only be a TLC fan, chose to only be a SWV fan, or chose to only be an Escape fan, something like that. But I was a fan of all these girl groups. But for me, 702 really did stand out and they had good albums. I could appreciate albums for each girl group. But their album's really good. Unslept on, but really good. So, 
I'm gonna do so I'm I'm gonna do one song from each that I think y'all could jam to. But I'm gonna do two from the first album only because in honor of, of Irish, I wanna do the song that she um sung a verse on. She had two verses. She, well she had a verse on All I Want. All I want is someone I can talk to. And no, no, so, sorry, not all I want. That's my bad. No doubt. Get we gotta get down to what it's all about. She had a verse on that. And then she had a verse on Word is Bond, which is like her favorite song to sing. So yeah, we're gonna do my favorite, one of my favorite songs that I that I like a lot, and everybody knows this one. You know, I've already talked about it in the Irish passing video. But round and round. That song you would want to jam to, because it's just I don't know what Missy Elliott was on that day, but it's very like jazzy R&B, and it's just kind of a little bit of scatting. That it's just a, such a, a a good R&B song. Baby to the hip hip hop hop, baby I won't stop. I just love how she's singing that. And baby to the hip hop, and baby I won't stop. And tell me what's your sign? Is it compatible to mine? I'm gonna hit you with the one two, check a one two, yes. And then she's like bringing it, bringing in the other girls. Listen to my crew. I want, yeah, I sweating you like sweating me like sweat. Yeah, I live for it. And then, of course, the chorus is sickening. Ow. It's like they kind of took, took some words from like um, Diana Ross, um, Upside Down, but I live for it. Turn me all around. And then the little bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I live for it. I'm upside down. And boy, you turned me inside out. Around and round. Sorry, just mid song. I got a message that Zumba is not going to be tonight. I've been doing my little Zumba thing. I'm like. Sometimes, I, sometimes I, it's the days, the days that I really hope she doesn't do it, she does it. And the days I kind of really want to go, she somehow calls out. <laughs> well, no Zumba today. Let's go to the next song that I was talking about from the same album called Word is Bond. So that's Irish right there. Like she, you know, she just, she just riding. She didn't gotta do all the extra padding of the bell and all the craziness. She just kind of talking through it, but kind of talk singing through it and I live for it. Woke up this morning, chilling on my head. Didn't want to wake my man. So instead I called my girlies. Let's chill today. Go out and play. Get in my car and let's cruise around the way. Ow. Ow. Girl, that song you put on a you put on a on a on a scarf around your head, and thank you a gangster for some reason. On and on, word is born. We keep breaking down to the bong bong bong. Girl, pretend to smoke you a blunt. Girl. <laughs> now moving on to their second album, I'm gonna do one song from there, even though it's plenty of songs. I'm gonna do one song, and this is from their album. 70, their self-titled album, 702. Well, you know what? Hey, I am doing one song, but I just want to include an interlude because they had interludes in here. They had three of them. Each one had their own different interlude that was like dedicated to them. So like seven was, I think seven was Irish, zero was Misha, and two was Mila. And it was, I don't know, this album was very well done. It was very, even like the album cover, it almost looks like they're like looking at an alien or something. It's just like, because even the interlude sound kind of like out of worldly, out of worldly, worldly. Like it's kind of, I can't explain it, but they're very, very good interludes that you wish were whole songs. It's like, here, example, here's, here's Irish. Seven, seven, Irish. So you can't really hear what they're saying in the background. Like, she's like, yeah, yeah, my own, I own, oh, star. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying, but I live for it. It's like, yeah, yeah, I own, I oh, oh. Oh, star. I don't know what she's saying, but I live for the guitar. I live for the just the 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 sub this seven seven Irish Irish seven seven Irish. Oh, star. Yeah, now oh night eh eh. Oh 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 star. I know I need help. Um. 
So what song am I gonna do from here? I'm gonna do Gotta Leave. I said it in the Irish video. Gotta Leave is a slept on, slept on track that came out as a single, but it was slept on. And it's just, how can people sleep on this song? Like Miss Yelly killed the beat. They killed the singing. Like it's, it was such a good song. That beat right there, like that, that is this very Asian. I really picture like, um, what are the things called? The wind chime things that being like in your backyard and stuff. I really, it, like if you, if you look at Missy Elias takeaway video, but even before that, I thought about this. I feel like I, it's very, it gives me very much, I don't know, like before cancel culture, like black girls being like in this kind of geisha environment, a cherry blossom tree, cherry, like the leaves blowing in the wind, them kind of like sitting down on this like, grass filled with like rose petals whatever and he's like beautiful like gowns asian traditional gowns and just giving you sickening just sitting there just oh i i just see it it would have been sickening the, the video they did is kind of okay but like the, i think my vision is better <laughs> you got me pulling my hair mila said you got me pulling my hair from all your fussing and fighting Ow. What's your occupation? Why you building me? Why you do? Why you doing? <laughs> What's your occupation? And then it goes, why you ruining me? Why you do? Why you do? These things to me? Who are you? Who are you? Ow. Why, why, why you doing to me? Yeah. Out for the background. Why, 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 why you doing to me? <laughs> why, 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 why you doing to me? <laughs> why you doing to me? Why, why, why you do it to me? You must you. Girl, they had, to, they had to stop the beat, so she goes, Why, why, why you do it to me? And then bridge. You must get out. Hold up, wait a minute. You could have prevented. Ow! Moving on. On. This is their last album together, unfortunately. This is their album, Star. Why, why, why do me? <laughs> oh, somebody's saying that after her passing, their screams have, so well, how do, you, how, do you, how, do you, how do you know they skyrocketed? She's saying that, that they're like, I guess they're screaming now on the music has skyrocketed. That's how people are though. People pay people, people will pay people dust when they're still here living and they could show them all the love then, but they don't. And then when they pass away, all of a sudden, let's go blow their music up. Let's go jam to it. It's like, Y'all so fake. <laughs> Y'all are so fake. Like, and, and, and that's part of the reason why the girls, like Irish and them, kind of disappeared because they weren't feeling like they were getting any kind of love from the industry at all or people. Like, you know, she, she ended up going to go be an accountant. You know, Misha was working as like some wedding um, planner in Vegas, you know, like, with nothing is wrong with that. But, you know, I wish people could show people that they are loved and everything while they're still here. But that's not never the case. That's never the case. But anyway, um, their star album. Okay, there's so many songs in here that I want to say, listen to. <laughs> there's so many. Listen to the whole album, but I, oh my God, it's just hard. How do I choose one song? I really want to choose Trouble. I did, because I always talk about I Still Love You all the time. But I'll do I Still Love You, because I, cause some of y'all still don't know about that one. I, I, I'll do that one, but even though I want to do Trouble. But I'll, I'll do I Still Love You. <laughs> this beat is just, outrageous it makes me want to sit on pharrell's face to forget about my problems it's so spacely it's so alien it's so just <laughs> khalees you could like this is very kind of khalees in a way um it's just sickening i just really wanted them to be like in a video like just on a moon, whatever, in like science lab coats and little glasses looking like sexy scientists and like just like doing a little dance on the moon and, you know, the meteorites flying in the air and just like, it would have been sickening. Just, that's how I pitched it. See, everybody needs someone by their side. Y'all don't get lost in that? Like, I'm lost, like, just now with that, the beat and her, see, everybody needs someone by their side. I'm just like looking up at like, something's up there. It's, it's up there. This is the part right here where I see them in science, um, like lab coats. On this part right here, we're all singing together. See, you don't take a rocket scientist to know I love you. 
Stacy, it don't take a scientist to know that I love you. And it don't take a rocket scientist to know that I need you. Oh, I see it. I still love you. And it's just, they're not even doing any ad living that much at all. At all. It's literally just, I still love you. 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 I still love you. That's all it is. Never you not be so happy and sure of myself. Ow. Yes. I think that's why when I did my purple alien look, I went right to this song because it just gives that. You know, like somebody was saying, like they, they think about deep, dark, deep purple in the space with this kind of song. So. See, everybody needs someone by their side. And I yeah. And that's been my jamming with Pierre. I hope, I hope y'all listen to their albums. I, I promise you will like them. And that's it. Jamming with Pierre. And that's been jamming with Pierre. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew, Andrew Marquinos. Not for the bleach for your crown. Child, that crown is still floating somewhere either in my stomach or I got tired of digging doo-doo -do, and it's now flushed into the toilet, child. That crown is gone, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Jordan Morris. Oh, Jordan, he got so mad because we all read him for wearing sandals and sweatpants. Mm -mm -mm. Any tips for beginners? Well, first, thank you for your tip, Leslie Cruel. Child, don't start doing drag. You don't look, you, you don't, you don't look like drag has been in your mind at all. <laughs> where, where, where this coming from? Looking like one of the um, singers from The um, Temptations. <laughs> My tip is don't do drag. Why Why are you doing it? Why? <laughs> what, what is your reason? That's the first tip. Find out why is your reason why you want to do drag. That's the reason. Thank you, Bon, bon Pain. Bon Pain. Thank you, Squishy. Oh, Squishy. What a big tip. Oh, thank you. And Squishy is somebody who's also hurt by the passing of, um, of Irish because he was a big 702 fan too. And somehow he managed to be younger than me and Irish but looks older. I, 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 child, don't ask me. Oh, thank you, Jenny Lark. Thank you for the big old tip. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the jamming with PM. Thank you, David Laugh. I already told you that. Thank you, David. David from the Bronx. Mixing LA. Thank you, Richard Matchman Henny. Speaking of Henny, girl, that big heifer finally got up and went, went and did a show. <laughs> Somebody finally gave her a chance out there and booked her out there so she can get, you know, have, so she can make money because she's been going through it. Thank you, Luke, for the tip. But yeah, um, yeah, and that's good for her. That really is good for her. I hope I, I hope more more shows can um, continue for her as long as her health allows it. Thank you, Ali Can. Thank you, Junery Piojo. Junery, Junery. Thank you, Andrew Gaylor. Oh, you watched Splash for the first time. Okay, what happened? I told you it was such a great movie, and for putting you on to Gina Thompson. Stick with me, kiddo. You'll go far. You might get herpes, but whatever. Baka Baka, thank you, Andrew D. Guzman. Gerald Brooks Jenkins, thank you for the big tip. Oh, so you should have done it a long time ago. Well, you're doing it now. That's all that matters. There's some people that haven't done it forever and they've been here forever. Shame on them. Thank you, Cameron Clunas. Thank you, boo. Thank you, Carlos Elvas, for being an Alva. Thank you, Basil Abuk Halof. Basil Abuk Haul off. <sighs> not that picture. Andrea Staley, thank you. D Andrea Daly, not for being stank. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys for all your wonderful tips throughout all the Philippines or these videos or Zumba or gaming that y'all try to give me. Thank you so much. And if you like the tip, all the information is in the description box down below. Thank you in advance. Okay, so comments. This isn't from the um, RPDR season one video. It's from like my Germany uh, Meet the Queens when I did a little clip of, of um, Andy Dick as Daphne Aguilera, somebody just did the whole lyrics to her song. Oopsie Daisy, I do that. Messed up everything we had. Naughty baby did a no no. Won't you spank me like my dad? Well, I guess I played the fool. Better meet me after school. Naughty baby did a no no. Come on, touch me. Make me drool. Oh. You had to be there, the 90s, I tell you. <laughs> I need to do 
a <laughs> raw view just on the Andy Dick shows on the FBI Galeria. <laughs> She's an icon. <laughs> I swear Andy Dick and Kathy Griffin could be brothers. Or Andy Dick really is Kathy, Gri Kathy Griffin in drag. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Nina, I don't want to be one of those queens that do a stupid A song. Also, Nina, Alexis Michelle, your name, it rhymes with hell. And you're so real for that because it was a masterpiece. The difference is, when y'all swear I did Black China song as some serious music release. No, it was literally doing any other parody. I was just like in the bathroom and recording, a, doing a dumbass song for fun and just like adding stupid pictures to it and put it on YouTube. Now, there's a difference. When I say they have stupid songs, I mean the girls who actually legit are all serious. They have their lemon and their honey and their tea for their throat. Child, they, they, they have some lozenges. They have on a turtleneck to make sure that the air doesn't affect their vocal cords. They go to a, a little producer somewhere, go in the studio. They hold the muffs to their ears all serious, like they're really doing something. And then the beat comes in, some stank gay beat. Brown, 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 brown. And they're all just like, work, 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 gay, 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 gay. Queer, 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 queer. Work, 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 work. Honey, 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 honey. Chow, 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 chow. That's what I mean. <laughs> like, that's what I mean by it. they all do those stupid kind of songs that just are like the same just kind of bull that they all do. Like, just, that's what I mean. Like, if I want to, if I want to do a, a real song, I'm doing like a real song. Like, I, I, I want to like work with Missy Elliott somewhere, somebody like that. Like, let's do some real stuff. Now, if I want to do some funny stuff, then it'll be like a weird Al Yaka Bunch kind of stuff, kind of parody, kind of music like that, you know. But that's what I meant. Girl, you swore you clocked me on that. You swore you clocked me. <laughs> I have this comment. I'm like, Nina, please watch the Younger Pointer Sisters at three, at the three step, as the Three Step Sisters in the Carol Burnett snow, show Cinderella. They are on point. Why haven't you made a tribute to the Pointer Sisters? Because I don't have to? <laughs> Those are your girls that you like. You make the tribute. <laughs> I swear, like, and like, it's not a, it's a, it isn't the only time they brought that up about pointer, about, about the Pointer Sisters. Girl, when I'm doing my jamming with Pierre and stuff, it's things that I'm trying to introduce, introduce to you people. So that y'all can get into new different things and like the songs that I like. It's not about what y'all tell me to do, bitch. Like, that's how it works. Girl, I, okay, the Pointer Sisters, that's good. They're nice, but why Why do I have to do a tribute, a tribute to them? Like, why? You do it. The fact that you're not getting book blows my effing mind. How are they missing on such an incredible performer? Ugh. The same five rule girls are overbooked though, because Lord forbid they don't get everything. Welcome to the world. Welcome to America. Welcome to just the world. Just that's that's how the world is. Thanks for landing. I honestly hope you do the reunion because it was probably one of the best. I met Missy and Chili in Newark Airport, and when I tell you that they are some of the nastiest people to their fans. I even got into got into it with Missy because at first I didn't realize it was her because it was around the time she lost a lot of weight and she gave me a stink face and I read her real quick because back then I was quick to curse a hoe out. They were also super nasty to fans, even little kids. Why I don't believe you? <laughs> I don't. And like, why, like, I need more. I need more context on this on this whole thing you're talking about because. First of all, I don't picture you cursing Missy out. I don't see that happening. Especially if you're at work or something like that. I don't see that happening. And was it because you wanted a picture and they were trying to catch their flight? They couldn't be bothered? Like, does that make them have a stink attitude or be nasty? Some people are just like, some people don't want to be bothered. They just really legit just want to like, for once in their life, go somewhere and just like, you know, just be like everybody else and just do what they have to do and get on a flight and just go. <laughs> Like, but I get it. It can be hurtful though. Like, if you do see somebody who you really admire, and you're like, "Hey," and you're like, kind of stink. It's like, it can. It, that would hurt your feelings. It would. But, I, but I need more context. I, I, I need more context. I can see Chili being that way secretly. <laughs> I can't really picture Missy being that way. I, I, I genuinely can't. I'm sorry, but the "Love Came for Me" song from the Splash movie, jamming with Pierre Seven, was too much for my lonely a. Eh. My goodness, never heard a song before, but I'll be looking for it. Not now though, because I am still single. <laughs> I know. I told you that song is so pretty. Okay, let's get to it. Act. I hate the way that you talk. I felt that you were incredible. 
Well, dang. <laughs> this is when the girls were telling the girls how they felt. The girls were definitely girling. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not. <laughs> All this in muck. <laughs> Damn, the back of his head looks sharp. Are they one of those dinosaurs? <laughs> to drag mommy. Why, why does RuPaul look like you could just sit, you could just draw puppet lines around his mouth and just sit him in like a part with a bunch of dolls and just sitting there like, like slapping the dummy? <laughs> and he would look really scary. Why do I kind of like the dark kind of theme runway? I kind of wish they, they would do that for the show. But damn, poor child got on her, girl. <laughs> Right, no shade. She looks like Eureka in a Tina Burner wig. But Portia got on her good um, Sunday's best dress. Okay, that's a little raunchy. So she sit in the first pew, and the deacon sees her and says, Okay, we'll talk later. You know what I mean. Stroll down the runway, another <laughs> I can't. The serious music and her being all bobby. <laughs> Girl, now Tammy got her uh, her other church outfit, her, her Easter Sunday's best, with a workout headband that somehow fit around her head. <laughs> I am not buying or renting either hers or pork chops. You loved who she waving at? It's only one person sitting there. <laughs> I can't. Put the bass in your walk. Yeah, did, did she go that stank sideways walk? Girl, I, I, I'm like, why is she walking to the side? Just all stank. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Akasha again on Drag Race. I just want to see her again for the foolery and the shenanigans. <laughs> but, you know, this is the black girl back of the day, drag kind of outfit. Put this girl, just hoochie it up. It's cute for what it is. The eyebrows are the problem. They're too skinny. They're too skinny on her face. But dang, her thighs are nice. <laughs> <laughs> but the hip pads are questionable. They like, they like lunch meat just sitting on the side. Now Ow. They look, they look like somebody's Puerto Rican auntie. Okay. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's cute for what it is. None, none of the girls, but I don't think, I don't, sorry, I don't think that they like had to really dress up so much, I guess, you know, but you know, it's for what it, it's cute for what it is. Oh, no, she does not. Well, dolls, I know you don't come around, but if you somehow see this video, Ray said that you look like Miss Jade, Miss Jade, and then Jade looks manly. But truthfully, you do have a manly jaw, so never mind. Groundbreaking show that it'll be something that will live in history forever. And Unfortunately, she wasn't lying, because here's history books later. We're still here. <laughs> You know, this was kind of degrading. You let people pour water on you. I'm like, well, what are you? Not degrading. They probably thought it was degrading because they think they think that you look like a damn elephant. That's what it is. That's it. That secretly was what, that was in their mind because there's nothing degrading about it. <laughs> I mean, the only part that was like I questionable was like you know them like making you like you know wed wedding up y'all's like hair and y'all's outfits that y'all probably spent money on you know. But it's part of the show. My influences, first of all, started with Tina Turner. Uh-huh. No, she really does like, like Tina Turner. Because, like, when, when Tina um, passed, and, and, or, or she saw that, I got that book, and then she reached out to me and stuff. She does love Tina Turner. Hot slut of the day. What did that feel like? Why couldn't they use better words? Right. I'm like, like, why is that? Like, should I be happy for that? <laughs> you look under my skirt, and it'll stick you in the eye, though. <laughs> Boing, 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 boing. It's a little bit of stain right there. Yeah, it's oil sheen. Damn, RuPaul messy cl clocking the stain on her shirt, on her dress. <laughs> RuPaul is messy. <laughs> he said, I'm going to clock that. What is that on your, what is that on your dress, mama? Other lips, hers make her look like retarded. Porch. Not retarded. <laughs> Take me back. I want to go back. Take me to the 90s with words were not meaning. Boils down to my background with family. One of I think her eyebrows are up too high. I keep looking at that. It's like, you could tell it should be down more. It's like, you just see this big chunk of gold shadow and then this eyebrow sitting way up. You know, who, you know who I could see her doing for Snatch Game when she came back? I, mean, I, I don't know how she looks these days. But she kind of, in a way, favors Regina. Um, Regina. Is it, is it Regina George? What's her name? You know Regina from um, 227 and stuff. Can't think of her own name. Thank you. Regina King. I'm from Regina George from Mean Girls. <laughs> but yeah, Regina King, thank you. Her first time seeing you in drag, your grandmother. Yes. Cause I Dang, Akasha booty was nice. 
I swear, if I didn't think black men would rob me, I might go for it. Not right. I have a white guy over here named Tommy, whiter than the bottom of Casper's foot. <laughs> and you saw what I just said. I just said, I think black people will rob me. And he said, right, girl. Racism lives in true colors. What's it like to see that? I guess it was kind of an emotional breakthrough. For Dang, he gave Nakasha a long time. Like the other girls are just like one question and she, like he's trying to get all of it into her business. Why are you black? Why are you angry? Why are you angry and black? Why are your eyebrows sitting up so high? Okay, that was my question. When I see you, I think of one thing. <laughs> Dang, RuPaul wants his uncut nanny meat. No. How big is it? No, just kidding, uh, just hey. kidding, just kidding. RuPaul wanted to know, ew. <laughs> So RuPaul probably is a bottom, for real. Ew. Climb up my booty, another tootie, and stick up in my duty. I am RuPaul, bottom of the world. Stick my hole and don't tell a squirrel. My lyrics should be one day written in archives. Show me with your fingers. You don't have to just, just mouth it. <laughs> Damn, he desperate. <laughs> Miss J, please sleep with that man. Please sleep with that man. Nothing was mentioned when I was with Rebecca. She pulls my hair, scratches my face. Dang. Oh, oh, wait, but it looked like you were into it, though. Like, you were actually into that part. They probably, they probably thought that y'all was, like, you know, into it. Tell me about the best thing that happened to you during the oh, competition. The best thing was oh, Ruth says, I don't have any answer. Uh, I'm, I'm, quick, 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 quick. T tell me about the best thing you have for me. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to take in responsibility. Ah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. What kind of sucking in your lips like you're eating lemons and bobbing your head side to side and swear you're killing the runway? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I mean, it's a nice dress. It's cute. It is. Okay, a line. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. The makeup does look nice. The wig is less wiggy, but it's so flat on top of her head, though. Hey, Ruth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How are you? It's so good to see you. Good. Not, not so good to see you in the, in the hurry running away. And damn, her nose long on this angle. <laughs> Before I'm gonna hate you. It's crazy because I started reading some of the blogs and right after. Back then, when they had to read blogs to find any information. <laughs> Now we just get on the phone on any dang site, any social media site, and people read you every day. <laughs> I should have won this challenge, Nina. And I, I should have won, won that, that challenge, challenge like China. China. Should have won the entire competition. Normally, Normally Chanel's stuff be right, right, but today her she, she has, has the Gia, the Gia, Gia gun, gun going on. on. One, One eye looks like it's smaller than the other. other. Looks hanging down, down over. <laughs> what, what was, was going on that day? day? You're not always gonna get praise, but you gave so much praise to a lot of other people. She's clocking, clock, 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 clock. So I want you to know that, first and foremost, that you didn't win you over me in that. To... Yeah, but they still were gonna send you home, though. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Girl, is that what I told, is that what I should've told Shea at the reunion? Girl, I choose to let you stay there, honey. Okay? Cause they would, it would girl, I was gonna give you cool for the winter, summer, autumn. Girl, Shea kool -Aid. Bagpipes, motherfucker, mother mother come from far away. Waiting for a reply? <laughs> Read in autumn. That's what I should have told her. <laughs> I was given a woman of color who looked nothing like me. Well, y'all both had women of color. So. <laughs> Girl, though, I honestly, and I've been doing face for a long time, I, I didn't see it. You have not been doing face for a long time. We've seen your face, girl, probably wrong way. Stop lying. <laughs> You have not been doing face for a long time. We've seen your face on Project Runway when you did your own face. Stop the line and Chanel's. <laughs> I wonder was did Project Runway come after this? Because I'm like they should have. They that's what Chanel should have said. Girl, we've seen the Project Runway look, girl. <laughs> Act. I hate the way that you talk, and I hate the fact that even after what you did. Dang, now I don't have nothing to get you. But I hate the way you act. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you breathe. I hate the way you just your your existence. And I can guarantee you that that was merely by accident. Pulling my wig was accident. Pushing you was accident, but why was she intentionally scratch you? Come on now. <laughs> she, nobody would intentionally do that. 
everyone that sees that video can see how you went behind me, grabbed my tits, grabbed my- Exactly, so, right. You did the same thing to her, exactly. Like, <laughs> what kind of excuses? <laughs> like, y'all literally were both humping each other. So, drag was a contact sport from this first season. Are apologizing, and you're being woman enough to- I can tell- Not woman enough. <laughs> I can trust her. After the show finished, and for the last several months, RuPaul's liking this part. <laughs> oh. This next queen is a fierce. I forgot all the girls weren't on the stage yet. <laughs> now, now it seems like all the girls come out, come out at the same time. Stravaganza! Ow. You know, Flowers giving me darker version of um Kiera. I think, I, think it was her name. I, I, I think it was her name, but you know, from Groove is in the high. Thank you, Lady Miss Kier. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell if that's fur on her head or hair. And 10% during the whole race. Girl, Nina Flowers' face is giving me how Sindel should be looking. That's how I picture Sindel look the eyes like that and stuff. At H, you have HIV? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. Our queen always. And, but there's, of course, BB. Not even got BB was there. Now, she's our queen always. Uh, uh, and of course, we have BB. Yeah, she won. Uh huh. <laughs> I can't. Overcome everything I went through. She does, look, she does look nice there. Such that, oh, if you're in Africa, we will burn you alive. What? Why are you surprised? <laughs> that goes down all the time, child. Believes that Rebecca should not have been in the top. I feel like this is like episode of like meant to just pick on Rebecca. Poor girl. I'm really. Aww. Thanks Aww. for what you. Even though I just raised my hand when Ruth said, who shouldn't have been in the top three? But here's a hug. <laughs> gorgeous. Coming. <laughs> Why the ruler man? He's like, shit. They're not going to argue anymore. Gorgeous. How is your friend who is suffering from HIV? I just wanted him to know that I love him. But I didn't answer the question. How's he doing? It was completely intentional. I had just been. Ruler scary as now. Oh, Ruth's shocked face is scary as a guy. Anybody believe that I intentionally meant to do it? Well, the player got played because this is the first. I still don't know if it really was intentional. I really don't. Oh, I wanted to slap you into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> RuPaul's like, it's so fun to be threatened by a little munchkin. All right, this is for Nina. This is Victor from. Now I got scared and looked around like, oh, <laughs> oh Nina Flowers. How do you reduce razor name. bums or stubble when they find out left? But also, white people's skin is different from white people's skin because a lot of white guys, they can shave with a regular just shaving blade and they don't bump out like that. But a black guy does it for the most part. Girl, they have all them nasty bumps all up under their neck on their chin. So that's why that's why it's kind of good for most black guys to use like clippers. And that's why they say a lot of rubbing and alcohol. alcohol woman on our show did you Miro and Miro Kyle was like a skinnier face version of um I don't know her real name I actually her real name but the one that played um Peggy in um Mary with Churn per se but I am looking for beauty constantly I'm having that random vision of of Santana doing that wow video where he's like no shirt on and stuff I think no pants or so he's like making lemonade or something for wow it was so cringy <laughs> today we're making the flu shot Criticism. I believe that oh, Chanel's ready. Anything would make me look like a bitch on this show. This would be it. Oh, <laughs> and Akasha is ready for it. <laughs> it's like, get a girl, get a sister, get a sister. <laughs> Las Vegas entertainer. I am a character illusionist. We know you just said all that earlier. God dang. Nobody asked for your resume. Now she memorized her wiki page. <laughs> Either you're born with style or you're not. A paper. Oh. Are five hundred and fifty dollar pants. You paid too much. Oh. <laughs> he said, "I'm not backing down, honey." And she ain't back. <laughs> what other people think of me is none of my business. But it is her business because I mean it's part of the reason why she went home because it, I mean his opinion seems to count so it is a part of her business. Too. No, I, no. I, uh, no. You know what, Chanel? I... Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I could imagine if Chanel is on All Stars Nine for real, but he bring back Santino. That'd be sick, man. <laughs> but he probably be all sugar coated now because of how cancel culture is. Would you take a hug from him? Yes. Okay. She wants a hug because she want to sleep with that thigh. Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, <laughs> sexual harassment. It never gets old. <laughs> 
using a drag. It's not easy. It's not. Dang, Chanel look evil. <laughs> I found my thumbnail. <laughs> Ooh, she said she's going to kill somebody. Ooh. And them evil eyebrows, too. Girl, she looking like the evil queen looking at Snow White. Girl, she is. To be the negative ass. Why can't be the polyamorous? I see Tammy's mustache. That's well, we why you're here. here. So much negativity. But because you forgot it. Forgot it's what? not because. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, Rue Mad too, girl. His damn church lacks, then rolls up two inches higher, bitch. Them long, them long, skinny scarecrow ankles are are ankling, and girl, ten minutes, ten minutes sweated her mustache makeup off. Girl, they about, they about to fight in Mortal Kombat. Then <laughs> you're amazing. If you take on someone else's Chanel, still turned to the side, looking at Snow White, ready to cut her for that apple. And I don't see you out there walking children in nature. I never call. <laughs> Forget you you forgot who you are. You forgot. Not rude talking over her. Don't let her talk, girl. God damn. That, that's your responsibility. Use your mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that part. Girl, this is the, you better, she said, I'm checking you, girl. This, honestly, is the best reunion ever. I feel like season nine was pretty good, too. I think we had the best of the reunions, this and season, and season nine. <laughs> I had to watch the other reunions, but I feel like this one and season nine were the best reunions. Like, you are not going to get any more stuff like this ever again, because people are too scared. They're too scared to say anything to these people because of, of their career. And these girls are like, honey, I'm going to see how I feel. Girl, you could, you could, I could tell the minute Tammy walked in, she was not feeling RuPaul like that. They did. They saw them as equals and not like y'all better than anybody. As you should, honestly. <laughs> oh, season two was good. Reunion. We'll see when we get to that season one day. Use your mouth. <laughs> not the face of, <laughs> I know that petty face. The little slight smirk of the cheekbones and the lips pursed in. <laughs> you. No, you can't do it. You can't do it. No, you can't do it. Because they're projecting. <laughs> Not Rose going crazy. And Tammy just like, blah, 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 blah. She can't be bothered. She's like, you can be all loud as you want. I'm not buying your bullshit. I'm not buying your nonsense, no. You have to own it yourself, Dorothy. <laughs> what the hell Dorothy got to do with this? <laughs> and Tammy's still doing that face. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Girl, what, what did Dorothy do? She, she, she trying to find Toto. God damn it, you wouldn't believe me. And that's why you're here. You're in... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't blame her, though, because I'd be the same way, like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, Tammy is not buying his nonsense. You see, the brown, the browns, the brown girls, the brown girls, we ain't got time for your nonsense. The brown girls don't have time for your nonsense, no matter who you are. Self-doubt? Does it go away? Does it go away? Yeah, we can't tell you this. Dang, she's still really in that same side profile. She ain't moved one inch. <laughs> That's how I feel. They, see, you know. That's right, Andy. You know. Oh, poor child. Sit down with your cucumber pickle nose. You're just trying to get on All Stars. <laughs> nose look like, looking like a kosher pickle. Face for Miss Congeniality. But I can tell you, Miss Congeniality is not Tammy. <laughs> you are the champion. To all she don't seem happy. I, I probably just feel like. They don't get that much attention on this on this reunion, or maybe all the drama, or maybe she feel like I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm misreading it. Maybe she know that RuPaul and want Nina Flowers to win. I don't know. She don't seem that happy there. For the one queen they thought was the most. <laughs> Not Tammy still doing that face. <laughs> oh, she want to jump RuPaul. <laughs> Flower. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think about it. If anything, I thought Angina would have been Miss Congeniality. Anything I would have thought they would have been Miss Angina. They just wanted, I, this time I feel like they wanted, to give, they wanted to give her that because they think that she should have won the crown in the first place. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling for real now, like, re-watching this. 
Snap porch out to myself. If I were to win, it wouldn't have fit. <laughs> now for you. Back in the flower head, look, look, look like she had on a stocking cap. Worth it because we are bringing. You see, RuPaul has calmed down now because his slacks have went down. You don't no longer see his scarecrow angles. This is coming soon. And Poor child, don't grab her hair because then she's going to say you, you scratched her on, on purpose like she did to uh, Rebecca. That Okay, RuPaul, that stiff high kick. I see you, queen. Girl, that reunion was a hoot. <laughs> it was a hoot nanny. Okay. I cannot. If I get to do season two before the new season, then we'll see. But we'll see. We'll see what next Raw View is next. We'll see. But I'm still doing the Philippines. Um, I may try to do Germany or just at least see how the episode is. But yeah, thank y'all for watching this whole entire Raw View of season one of RuPaul's Drag Race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank y'all for all the tips and support and liking the video. Make sure y'all liking the videos, y'all. I'm like, I don't think these videos have been like in the case and they're normally in the case. Okay? Make y'all like the video. Anyway, remember to stay beat. Stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi, bye bye. Dear Diary, I really hope Tommy doesn't touch my dirty pillows at prom. Or at least that's what Mama calls them. They're all, they're all, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was also so white and confused at school today. And I still don't know where the manager is. All the girls laughed at me. They're all gonna laugh at you! Why? Carrie White! Get down here and praise God! Coming, Mama. And where's Boo Boo?